welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to show you how I completely transformed my entire art studio and bedroom into this vintage inspired space. For a long time, I struggled finding a balance between my workspace and my bedroom, so I had to consider a layout that really worked best for me. I really appreciate a organized studio and I also really appreciate all the little details like the way sunlight hits my easel or the way my candles illuminate my work desk or just a really nice relaxing view outside of my window. I really felt that I needed to prioritize my studio more and get crystal clear on my intentions for my future goals. Another reason for renovating the studio was to enhance the natural light from my windows. So I decided to get rid of this wall because it really served no purpose. It just made everything feel a lot smaller than it really was and it dimmed the natural light. And with a little bit of support, I got the wall removed. Now there's like all this open space all this beautiful natural light poured in and once I painted the walls white it felt so much more open and spacious even though it was a lot of work it really was one of the best decisions I could have made for the studio I'm so glad that I did it
It can be misleading to feel that you need a bunch of space to have a studio, but really it's just a mindset. Because curating a space, or if you want to call it a studio, is really just about giving a dedicated place and identity and characterizing it with things that you love and are inspired by. You should treat it like a sanctuary. That's what I do. It's a place that I feel safe and I have the freedom to have fun and experiment. More importantly, I feel just joy. Some of the most influential artists did not even have the leisure of a large room. They just had dedicated themselves to a small corner of like an empty attic or basement. A successful day in the studio is just a day that is uninterrupted and there's no distractions and nothing's pulling me away from my studio. Unfortunately, I know every day can't be like that, but that's what I strive for. And on days that I'm feeling not so happy or feeling some type of way about my work, I just look at the paintings around me and I, I know that all these other artists, you know, they put in their 10,000 hours and, and failed a lot. But failures aren't really failures, so it's always a reminder just to keep going and to have fun. And I think that is the most important part of a studio, is to remind you just to have fun. Keep going and just stay creative and enjoy the process. Thank you guys so much for listening to me preach. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know that I had a lot of fun making it and I learned so much along the way. Until next time, stay inspired, stay creative, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!